Thousands of dollars are being raised to stop a statue of William Crowthers being removed from Franklin Square in Hobart. The decision to take away Tasmania's former Premier is on hold after the community launched an appeal to save the historic monument. It could be the beginning of the end for colonial statues in Australia. William Crowther served as Tasmania's Premier in 1878. He was a prominent surgeon known for mutilating the corpse of Aboriginal man William Lanny, stealing his skull and sending it to London's Royal College of Surgeons. Hobart City Council voted to remove the statue after long-term pressure from the Tasmanian Aboriginal Centre. But former Hobart councillor Jeff Briscoe is determined to save it after launching a GoFundMe campaign. It was an appalling decision by the uh, council to remove important heritage of Hobart. I think the council are on a little frolic of their own, encouraged by um, a radical uh, Aboriginal group who uh, have got political aims. Mr Briscoe is aiming to raise more than $10,000 to fund the legal costs of an appeal. $6,000 has been donated so far. The Tasmanian Aboriginal Centre is defending its position, claiming the William Crowther statue represents generations of pain. The TAC released a statement saying, we've been fighting for a very long time to have that statue removed because it represents physical pain and some of the most horrendous acts against our ancestors. It's fantastic to see such leadership coming from the local government council. It's not breaking history, it's writing history. Yet also standing in the TAC's way is Hobart descendant Amber Lee, who is related to William Crowther by marriage. Disgusted actually to think that something that's been here for 135 years can just be flicked um, with a flick of a pen. There is no proof that Dr Crowther did anything um, to anyone. The statue is not owned by the council, it's owned by the Tasmanian, Hobart Tasmanian public. Um, they paid for it. The appeal is scheduled for February when the Tasmanian Civil and Administrative Tribunal will hand down its final decision. Lauren Evans, Sky News, Hobart.